Hello, and welcome to the Condemned Catalogue, a Thief Gold fan mission by Frog Hemoth. Let's get away from the clanging of the menu screen. I guess we can't, yeah. I guess the objective screen is fine. It's less noisy. And let's read the uh, briefing. My new employer looks like a man on the run. Works for me. People in his position usually don't haggle over my payment. His trembling voice couldn't hide his eastern accent when he told me about a coven of rogue mages on the city's outskirts. These mages meet in a secret library hidden behind the cover of a local scribe's house. I am expected to infiltrate this hideout and steal the term known as the Condemned Catalogue. Dealing with mages isn't my favourite way to spend the night, but my empty purse has a different opinion. When I agreed, my new employer handed over a key that should reveal a magically hidden library entrance. I've located the scribe's house, and the night has already fallen. It's time to begin. Alright, so the only thing I know about this is that on Expert there is an extra objective available from... The thing you can buy that the readme mentioned uh, that you can use it on every uh, well it says it's you it's it can be useful on every difficulty level but only on expert it's an extra objective I don't know what it's talking about so we'll find out in a minute uh, other than that I'd normally go hard but we've already got a don't kill anyone objective on hard uh, not not just expert so I might as well just go expert right and and I won't have any problems with not enough hit points, right? That's never happened to me before. Infiltrate the secret library using the key your employer provided. Once inside, find and steal the grimoire known as the Condemned Catalogue. Grab at least 1,200 worth of loot along the way. You are a master thief, not a common cutthroat. Don't kill anyone. When every task is done, leave by the same narrow alley you arrived. And it's got a shop, which is great, although I have almost no, no money, so... This is the tip. Friendly tip from Book Trader costs 25. Well, I have to pick that up. Uh, I don't have any health potions. I think one is going to be important. Rope arrow is going to be important. And I have enough for one more broadhead. No moss. I mean, I don't need another broadhead. No moss arrows. No water arrows. Not even any water arrows for sale. That's wild. I could have bought one gas arrow before the money. Uh, and one noisemaker. Hmm. <laughs> Just noticed that. The mechanism in this arrow produces a strange noise upon impact. Useful as a distraction. Garrett, I know you hate these, but what about one-tenth of the price? Cost 25. You know what? You know what? I think you might have me there. What's what's the other prices? Anything else have a custom description? Uh, doesn't seem so. Oh, I like that. Um... Friendly tip from a book trader, yeah, yeah, there's nothing else special, right? Oh, we've got, that's the strange magical key, right, I see. Yeah, alright, let's grab a noisemaker. Um, even if they're not useful necessarily as distractions, I mean, if I'm not killing them, it might be useful as a distraction. But they're also reusable, they can push buttons and stuff, they're not useless. They're just definitely not worth the normal price, but at one at ninety percent off, you know what? I think I think the steam sale on noise maker arrows is, is worth a worth a look. Let's get going. Let's make a save here. Also make a quick save so that if I quick load wow this is a narrow alley, it's barely enough room to fit a cat, definitely not enough room to swing one. Hey, what was that? I have no idea, man. I uh, don't see anything now. Do we have a map? We do not. Right, let's read our tip. Lend me your ears, Sperno, Garrett, Talbot, or whatever spurious name you're using up nowadays. Words among the antiquarians and tome traders are that a certain someone readies a grand heist on a hidden library of some sort. Ha! I can only think of you, my friend, for a few thieves possess the acumen for striving in the racket of folio fleecing after all. I seek four scrolls, four volumes that recount the sagas of the fabled, fabled realm known as Azoth, in plain and unadorned prose, free from the shackles of obscure verses or enigmatic metaphorics. De cultura et des costumes de Zot, of the cultures and customs of Zot, written by the alchemist Parafaragaramus, 
whose bridge-bound dwelling vanished into the depths during the Great Fire of 667. Sulle fungini abitanti di Zot, on fungal denizens of Zot. Not much information on this scroll, save for unpleasant tales of houses overgrown with reeking verdant mushrooms and an anonymous sorceress. Papidum pretiosorum de Zot, the precious stones of Zot. Penned by a prince merchant after he consumed the sacred hashish of the eastern fakirs, he was sentenced to burn by the witchfinders for this forbidden pursuit. On the water arteries of Zot. On the water arteries of Zot. Altered by a heretic friar under the reign of the Black Prince. Legend holds that this scroll is walled in alongside their writer beneath the Wolf Chapel in the capital, but copies are said to exist. These then be the names of the coveted works. I yearn for these writings with insatiable thirst. I want those scrolls, and I want them badly. If you happen to see one of them during your escapade, deliver them unto me. Bring me a single volume, or perchance two, or three, and you shall dine in golden plates and drink from jeweled goblets. But should you produce all four, I'll give you a wealth of gold sufficient to purchase a genuine letter patent of nobility, unsullied by the forgery by those execrable wardens, or by the machinations of the Emperor's secret police. Odo the Inkhearted. The Inkhearted is an excellent appellation. Uh, so we got a new objective from that, right? Deal at least one of the scrolls of Zar. Okay. Well, obviously we're going to try for all four, but we don't know. How does this guy leave? No, he turns around. Uh, so I don't know the layout of this place at all. It looks like a dead end corner there. Got a window into this tower, but I don't know if I can get to it. Could knock this fellow out, but you know. I'm supposed to be sneaky. No, I can't fit through that window. I'm supposed to be a master thief. Shouldn't I try being sneaky? Oh shit, now he's coming back. Actually, I should check that pipe. It might have a water crystal in it. That's that's where I would hide a water crystal if I was if I was a pipe. No? I guess I don't really know much about the strange ways of pipes after all. Oh shit. Gonna have to pick that lock with this guy wandering back and forth. Well, I guess I will manage it somehow. I see there. Okay, maybe could have gone in in time, but bumbling to put away my lockpicks and back up and open the door and go in did not seem like the wisest strategy. I should like to remain unnoticed, at least for now. I'm sure it won't last. So we can't read. I don't. I never like that. that. Banner. I probably can't drop down. Yeah. Is there nothing in this little room? Well, this person's house is almost as narrow as the alley. Snores are almost as loud as uh, an angry bird. 834. 1. Second day of the new year. A sound observation would adequate a city filled with illiterates with a dire need of public scrivener. Be it what it would, for if it wasn't for that queer recluse relentlessly asking me to write petitions to the judges of Stone Market, I would have only frustration for repast with disappointment to keep me company in those narrow, cramped walls. 2. Fourth days before the solstice season. While immersed in beer that smells like fish, the oriental peoples with whom I engage in casual conversations on poetry and ethics express their discontentment regarding the sole availability of this tavern as our meeting venue, yearning for a more serene setting. In jest, I suggested the well in my basement devoid of water since the quick claim of Sir Mephoyeri, adding that the only prerequisites were a willingness to climb a rope, akin to that of an ape, and an affinity for bats. But they took on the offer. 
Three, your retires. Day of the mystery of the chisel. Lady Fortuna bestowed her enigmatic smile upon me, but I know not what to choose between exultation or cursing my fate. For such are her capricious gifts that one knows not if the wine he so gluttonly, gluttonously drinks is laced with poison or a brief ephemera. Orientals frequent my basement, entering and exiting at all hours, and their compensation is more than reasonable for such a service. May this marginality be a personal admonition that this queer money should be directed towards a more prosperous future rather than idle gratifications. Hmm. I can't pick the lock. I don't have a key on me, man. Doesn't look like it does. Look at this key upstairs. Hello? Indeed. Keeps the key by his bed. Nice, nice little loft bed, actually. I like it. Money. He probably doesn't need to give me money, no. God, he is definitely sound asleep there. And by sound asleep, is I can hear the sound. Nothing in the bucket. Mages are coming, going to and from the basement? What? They don't mean this basement, surely. They mean the tavern basement? I'm a little confused. The writing was certainly not straightforward. Oh, there is a basement. Oh, I bet I'm going to need that key again. Nope. I can pick this one. Okay, there is a well in the basement. Odd. Question is, is this where I'm supposed to be going? I mean, it's... He's talking about Oriental coming and going. He's clearly talking about Majors coming and going. Explore the street a little more. Doing nothing. Before heading down there. Mayhap there is more to discover or more to loot. <clears throat> more importantly. Reception is if I was to uh, someone there. If I was to be standing in the street, was him brushing past me. Oh, there's Rats. a sign. Sign on the on the <clears throat> oh, That's a dead end gate. Okay. Let's just see what the message says, and then pick the lock. A warning to all those whose feet tread upon those cobblestones. For it had come to pass that makers of mischiefs, as treacherous as the trickster's whispers, caused many an inundation in my castle by willful obstructation of the castle's draining pipe. A guardian had been appointed to thwart and quell vile intentions that would plague this thoroughfare twixt the noon of night and soul rising. Thus penned and signed on the eve of St. Edgar, with my left hand on the Book of Stone, Sumafui the Elder, Knight of the Ivory Scale. Wait, what, what, what did we hear about him? Willful obstruction of the castle's draining pipe. Caused many inundations in the castle. So if we block the drain pipe, does it flood? 
That would be funny. Do I have anything worth that I could block a drain pipe with? Not really. I don't think a deer lag would, would quite do it. <clears throat> it was a crate, but I'm not sure a crate would suffice. One that's small rock or something. Oh, that's the tavern basement. Judging by the sounds we're hearing. <clears throat> so I guess the major's also coming here. He's going on his way back. Another minute. <clears throat> Wouldn't want him to suspect anything. Would we now? drinking. Just the two that it seems. Nothing else going on in here? It seems a little odd. The note was talking about the town basement, right? Well, I'm confused by actually I'm going to go read that note again because the guy who wrote it seemed to be talking about the unconscious fellow. <clears throat> it's gonna be awkward, isn't it? Also, what are we gonna block that I got with? Anything? Hey, what was that? Nothing, nothing. Stuck on the stairs. What does it say? Blah blah blah. They expressed the discontent regarding the sole availability of the tavern as the meeting venue. Right. Ah, devoid of water. Since the quick claim of served for you. That's what it mentioned in advance, right? There was no well in the basement after that. Um, <laughs> okay, this is talking about getting paid by them for using the basement as a way to come and go, so. <clears throat> Evidently, the basement is our way forward. And the deal egg is not useful. So, is there anything else in the tavern basement, or am I wasting my time now? I could well just be wasting my time there. Shouldn't have left it open, I'm surprised he wasn't suspicious. I guess he's not. I mean, I guess I could look to see if there's a hidden door, but. Probably not, right? Because they stopped using the tavern basement. Because I didn't like it as a meeting place. Then, uh. Yeah, seems like there's nothing in here but a bit of wine. Well, I won't whine about that. I'm sure he won't find an open door suspicious at all. He does not. <sighs> Something there. Yeah. Seems peaceful enough now. Hang on, can't get under that. <laughs> All right, let's let's move on. Love to know if there's something to do about the drain pipe, but maybe it's just maybe it's just local color. Down to use a basement we go. Down the well we go. See. Hmm. 
No, my curiosity, my curiosity has we also have a bottle, right? We can put a bottle in there, we can put a crate in there. I've got I've got to know if there's something up something up with that. Felix and uh, <clears throat> I heard something. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing there now. Oh, this is just a pile of stuff. Lost off the uh, castle walls, no doubt. He's gonna hear this, right? <clears throat> Someone there? Come on now, come on! And we did hear that. Oops. It's the bottle. Nothing suspicious. I know you're around here somewhere. That was metal. Let's go meet the bats. Ah! Or let's try not to meet the bats. At least let's try not to break our legs. I think this is the very first well in any thief mission I've climbed down. Well, I don't know about these pillars, but uh, it feels like it's got a natural cavern below it. Not just like some constructed chamber. No, it's maybe not true, but... Oh, it's got some... Uh, Slight issues getting out of there. I see someone moving down there. What is that I'm looking at? Well, there's lots of like stalagmites there. Is that the same room as this? That looks like a bright, a hard fall into a bright area. Let's not go that way. This looks like a climb down into a less well lit area. Is that a bat? Oh, it's, it's a Yara on a skull. Okay. Is there a passage over here? It looks like a hole. It's just it seems to be just a hole. That I can't fit into. And what he's been down here? I mean obviously we know people have been down here. May just be meeting down here. Oh wow, look at that shadow of that ladder. <laughs> it's 
sandbags. That's nothing exciting. Pick. Aha, oh, that's a lot. Oh, is this the one, the way that I chose not to go? Yeah. Okay, there is, it is not a fault. It just wasn't clear. Well, uh... Let's see what this out does. Hello. Oh. I see. Well. Pick a pick. Uh, doesn't look very safe. We have to pick for right to make sure there's ground. In fact, it doesn't look like there is any way to fall down to your death here, which is perhaps good news. Very well. I mean, you know it's a library because they've got books on the outside. Ah. Oh wow, they've, they've got walls made of books. This is, this is, all these exterior walls made of books. Wait, this is like the alley we started in, except more bookish. Is there a window up there? It's only wooden beams, I could, tr I could try a rope. Sound propagates. <sighs> okay, this this balcony, but I don't think I can actually uh, get through to get get up that way. Wow, what a cool idea to have the maze just have the library be all books on the outside. I love it. It's it's so. It's ridiculous and weird. It's great. Also means I can uh, I can rope arrow pretty much everything on the walls. Unless they've changed the book texture. So we're here looking for what the condemned catalog and uh, the four scrolls of Zot if we can find them. Behind the tree, there is a moss arrow behind the tree. There's a door in there, a door that goes in there. Hmm. Just texture difference I'm seeing, or is there something there? I know it looks like there's something there. Very glad I bought the rope. Let's go find out. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can just grab the rope. Hello? Okay, that's a valuable scroll. It's that's one of the scrolls of his art. I don't get to find which one I guess. It's a shame. That it doesn't tell me. Well, let's get going. Maybe some of the other bookshelves are worth perusing. Oh, there's, there's shutters there. Uh, can I get up to them without? <laughs> no, 
really. Let's not put a rope in there. I can, but I can't grab it. Alright, that might be a way out. There's another way in. Let's close it for the sake of sound. It might be a way in, but it looks it looks difficult and deadly, so. What about up here? We can certainly get up onto this roof. So all wood on the on the it is indeed. This is this is a uh, rope is to light. <laughs> All right, there's another way in. Ah, this window might be more accessible than that. That window's not accessible at all. So interesting, there's, there's a room there, which is southeast. <laughs> and worth keeping, keeping, uh, my head. <laughs> nice roof. Very bright. Well, the footsteps I'm hearing is the guy out on the street. It's like I was thinking it was maybe somebody walking along that terrace, but it doesn't appear to be the same. And the door is that guy on the balcony. Okay, so we can get to the balcony easily. <clears throat> Do we maybe have any scrolls of salt in this area? One never knows, but also one would not expect two of them to be hidden in the same fashion. Very slight ledge here, but it looks dangerous to try to get onto it. <laughs> That's a bit safer, I think. We'll be getting over here. Stairway down. I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters, see the vast earth. Ah, the guy on the balcony there. Wow, this place is bigger than I thought. Don't know where to begin. So many ways in. Well, the stairs have... Well, I suppose it's a ramp, isn't it? Have presented themselves and it's dark. Seems reasonable. <coughs> it's also patrolled. Something is amiss. The wind, the wind has, has deceived me. tight corridors in here that's going to make sneaking quite hard. Unless I was to knock everybody out. <coughs> oh, he has a key. I will just borrow that. Thank you. Is he going around in circles or is there someone else around? Two people patrolling the same direction. So this guy we almost ran into a minute ago. <laughs> he turns left. Wind. 
Okay, I'm hearing doors behind me too. And here's guy number one. Doesn't seem like he had enough time to. Wind blows, fire burns, do a complete round. earth a round. shakes, water flows. And guy number two is going to come in just a second. Well, that's good news that they seem to be patrolling just in circles because it makes it a lot easier to manage. We can kind of follow them and then duck into cover. Okay, here's guy number two. Did I hear a noise? Nah. Sweet silence returns. Okay, they're pretty sensitive to footstep sounds, it seems. Which I don't love. Healing potion. Ah, this is this balcony that we saw. Alright, I lost track of which way out. A mysterious patrolling mage was going. Wanna know if wanna know if he goes left or right, this doors both ways. Being a little slow and careful because I don't want to start such a tiny space that uh, if any battles start, you know, any combat noises make, it's probably going to get a lot of people very angry and make sneaking nearly impossible and after resort to just blackjacking everybody. Wind blows, fire burns, he goes earth to the right. shakes, water flows. Oh. Suggest magic crit storage. Hello. I knew there had to be something behind there. There you go. Nobody will notice anything. What's surprisingly bright here? Dangerously bright. Light leaks through the door there, I guess. <laughs> they have a lot of bedrolls and some money. This guy's not even snoring. Hello, what's this up there? <gasps> Speed potion, money. I would never even notice that if I hadn't lit up from such a long way away. And it gave itself away, which is... I know, it's pleasing to have discovered it, but also... It doesn't feel like I earned the discovery. <laughs> Fire mage too, I think. From the winds, feel the countless waters, see the vast earth, and burn in eternal fires. You will burn in eternal fires, yes. For thy sins. I shall walk the path until my return. Okay. The winds are not at peace. It Wait. was nothing. He went to the right this time? <clears throat> I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters, see the vast earth, and burn in eternal fires. Where that other door go then? Extremely tight corridors uh, keeps me very on edge. Basically, nowhere to run and hide. Ah, 
Ah, I see we've got the tree here. Feel the countless waters. Nice less uh and burn an internal like little dripping particles from the tree, like uh I don't know. Pollen or something. Okay, so we could get onto the roof from here as well, I suppose. Mysterious sounds. Ah, oh, and this is this this is this corner. Okay, I know where we are. Did I did I hear a noise? Nonsense. Sweet silence, Sweet silence returns. Who could afford a noise in this economy? Let's go back up. Okay, this takes us down. Let's go down. noise in this economy on this floor with a gong right there I shall build a and two moss only mm -hmm. I will definitely make noise coming off the stairway mm -hmm. and he's watching a door oh he's not exclusively watching the door okay Maybe I'll just sneak behind him. I shall walk the path until my return to the eternal fire. The balance has been disturbed. That happens. <clears throat> what vision disturbs me? Nothing, nothing. Not oh, somebody's bedroom. Curtains. Anything under the stairs? It would seem not. Lower lever. Oh. Oh. Well, let's take a look. I see where our key came from. I think. CX11. The inner circle's suffocating devotion is unbearable. Their rigid bibliolatrous doctrines of the ancients are stifling the past to their greater aspirations. And by my hands, I uncovered the condemned catalogue and countless paraphernalia from the tin boxes and bronze barrels from the secret vaults of the Tower of Fire to start an order anew with thinking akin souls. May the spirits of fire be my witnesses. My actions are within the own strokes of the twelve symbols of reason, despite the act of rebellion. CXLB. The lesson is such. Titles are to be gained by the objective, for they hold more power than those declared by the subjective. And so I hold the title of an Archmagus to this day. But the title is empty, for the quest for the great truth still continues. The consensus is such. Grimoires on the mundane's mysteries are at hand, but they are naught but breadcrumbs to the profound mysteries locked within the archives. CXLBI. The preparations for the unveiling of the seal are now accomplished. We devoted an entire week to the purification of our bodies, abstaining from sustenance, except for the cleansing tincture of emetic herbs. The menials were commanded to procure an ample supply of magical grease for anointing ourselves with. The ritual bell shall ring thrice tonight, and may this missive serve as my final inscription, for verbiage holds no significance in the face of the great truth. A ritual bell shall ring thrice. I saw a bell out on the balcony. Should I be ringing that thrice myself? Hello? Fire burns, earth shakes, oh. water flows. Let's try opening and closing that again. It's too narrow to even successfully fit through without getting stuck. Oh, I can just squeeze it. Sometimes. Okay, well, I shall leave that open, I think. It's a useful, uh, useful way back up and downstairs. 
now we have to get back out past this guy. There is disharmony here. Yes, yes. Who troubles this place? The door being open upsets the wind the, has deceived me. Upsets the feng shui. <clears throat> I shall build shelters from the winds, feel the countless waters, see the vast earth, and burn in eternal fires. At least we got a spot of carpet. Nothing of interest on those shelves. Oops. Yeah, that's the guy who's wandering back and forth, and he's unfortunately wandering quite rapidly. Hmm. Bright, really lit niche with some. Things that I probably want to peruse. <laughs> is he also patrolling in a circle? It seems like maybe he is. Yeah. <clears throat> also good news, because it makes him highly predictable as to which way he's going to be facing when. See, that's the uh. I shall walk there, the my friend. Not a disturbance. The wind <laughs> Dang. Okay. <clears throat> I thought he'd actually properly seen me. Well, this is a pickle. I'm gonna get my roof back now. Now they have me. You cannot run from your fate. You cannot escape the inevitable. As long as they don't see me. I saw the intruder. You cannot see the intruder. You heard his footsteps. I think you come this far, though. Shadow. The shadows Shadow reveal your cowardice, shoulder. intruder. <laughs> Alright, he's going back to his... I guess he came this way. I don't know why he came this way. At least that's a soft landing real time. I was only hoping to like mantle that little ledge there and drop relatively quietly, but yeah, I guess it was not to be. How am I going to deal with this? And get that loot. And I can climb the shelves, but I'm not sure it's dark on top of them. Shall feed the earth. Return, Return to the eternal fire, invader. Well, that's the way you want to play. 
All is not as it should be. To hide in the shadows <laughs> is to reveal your fear, intruder. Leave us, Leave us while, you, while can. you can. Yeah, I fully intend to, don't worry. His winds, His winds blow quickly. To stir. Escape we while you can. Bring you wish to be left alone. Do you see death in the darkness? They rang they rang the gong. Alright, there's clearly uh, some kind of secret passage in there. The <laughs> How's that open? You Can I see any kind of lever on these bookcases? Big book lever maybe? I think we're gonna have to knock these guys out. It's gonna be Cannot hide from the inevitable. <laughs> Don't see anything that looks like a big book lever there. You cannot escape the inevitable. In the shadows. I do you like these bookshelves that I just keep dodging back and forth at the top of? <laughs> do you see death in the darkness? Hmm. You cannot run How does that open? That, that clearly can open. Where did this guy go? Oh, he went, he went looking upstairs. Darkness the darkness will not protect you for you long. Oh, well, seems to have given up for the moment. Your corpse shall eat the earth. Oh! How does that? They have to leave us. They do indeed. I'm in pain here. You may have returned to darkness, but time is on my side. <laughs> the shadows will not shelter you forever. You cannot hide from the inevitable. I just why how I hurt myself going down there as well. Also how how it managed to not knock him out despite hitting him before I hit the ground. You, you cannot, cannot escape the inevitable. The eternal fire will reclaim you. More, uh, you cannot run from your face. Small moss is certainly appreciated. A message from the keepers. Keeper Frederica, grand paraphraser of the elders, to keep a piece of greeting. Your concerns regarding the transdimensional library have been duly acknowledged by the Council of Elders. Diligent efforts and endeavorments shall be undertaken to conceal this place. Once preparations for the first dark age are finished, you are being warned. Glyph concealment shall not stand against the cunning of a well-versed magician, one knowledgeable enough in the arcane arts, and cynic enough to be wary of Foxship. Remain vigilant and mindful of possible future breaches. The elders are bestowing you permission for lethal trap setting, for the loss of life is a lesser impairment to the balance than endangerment to the very essence of knowledge. Yours in law, Keeper Frederica. Yes. Well, I shall have to be careful of those. Of those lethal traps, then. What am I going to do about these guys? I guess I want to get back out to the roof, right? Leave us while you can. 
I shall steal your breath away, thief. Track to the stairs, we don't know which way the stairs are came out of this. Ripples through the air. It was a false vision. Ah, here. I shall build shelters from the winds. Feel the countless waters. All right. We escaped with our lives, but not without some slight disturbance. There's more of this bizarre place to be be explored. But uh, this is where we're going to leave it for right now. Got some possible uh, screenshot fodder as well, I guess. Alright. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you here soon for the next episode.